Thank I you. Know, I don't know how we're gonna do this on, on the boat. <laughs> we're not, we're just gonna be dirty, that's all. Okay. We're just gonna have to be dirty. Thank you. All right. This time on Selling Tashi. <laughs> we are out of here. We are working on our to-do list as we make our final preparations to head into the bay for our last bit of boat work before we begin our journey southward. Our to-do list is getting shorter, but there's one major project that's all mine. A little extra provisioning. I just got my delivery of freeze-dried food, and now I have to take care of it. So yes, I do have a bit of a food hoarding issue, but uh, there's a reason behind it, I promise, and I never let anything go to waste. The reason that we ended up purchasing all of this freeze-dried food is a couple of reasons. Number one, it has a really long shelf life. So this stuff is good for 25 years. As we're planning for our passages, we had heard stories about grocery stores on some of these smaller islands that don't always get food shipments or that run out really quickly and then you don't have fruits and vegetables. These six buckets are supposed to be a three month supply of food. However, when we sampled the food, we determined that what they were calling a six serving supply was really more like a 12 serving supply. So we doubled that and figured this is a six month supply, but it does not contain any proteins um, and very minimal on the fruits and vegetable servings. So we supplemented that with some additional fruits and vegetables and proteins that are freeze dried as well. This is meant to be a staple and to provide us with food supplies in places and situations where we just don't have that available. And now I have the job of fitting it all into my boat, and I promise you, it will all fit. First thing to do is get rid of the bulky bucket so it fits into my oddly shapen space. I determined the best way to organize all of this was to use labeled reusable plastic bags and place like items together. Once everything is all bagged up, it's time to put all of these into these two spaces. going to spend most of our time at Anchor, but um, we were there for a year, so we spent a lot of time. <laughs> we <laughs> spent a lot <laughs> Okay, you need some alcohol. <clears throat> so, we... <laughs> Just keep going. Okay. We, so we left Willow Berm for good, which was definitely bittersweet, and we're headed out, probably going to spend a lot of time at Anchor, but um, there, there are some things that I will miss and things that I will not miss, but uh, what's something we think we're going to miss? Miss? Oh, that's yeah. an easy one. The beautiful marina. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of um, amenities and the staff. Uh, the staff there for sure, Zoraida and Michelle, Michelle and, and Terry, Terry and the harbor Jeff, master, Jeff and Scott and Rick, Rick and, and Saul. They were all awesome, amazing. Yeah. But what will we not miss about the marina? Birds. 
<laughs> yes. Wild. It's, it's good and bad. The wildlife is really, really abundant in the Delta, which is great. Yeah. The California Delta is home to more than 600 different species of birds, 55 different species of fish, and 750 plant and wildlife species, including this guy, who frequented our marina to help keep the fish population under control. On this day, I don't think he was too pleased with being on camera. He just flippered me off. Well, hi. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, buddy. I'm sure we'll see more of your cousins while we're out there cruising around. Oh but my the, gosh! Because yeah. we are in a primarily motor yacht uh, marina, um, the birds love our mast. I mean, they pick on us. Yeah. They like, every did. day we got bird poop all over the boat. Bird poop everywhere. Yeah. Um, that that's that was the worst part but uh, yeah uh, we dealt with it you know yeah. and then uh, the other part uh, was the spiders and oh. the spider webs it's every day I was out there with Webster trying to get the spider webs down because you couldn't even walk down the marina without getting spider webs and you know we I, Hal used to say that it was just a little bit more gray hair but <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! Every time you go down, walk down the dock, it's, I'm getting spider webs in my hair, and it just adds to my uh, gives me more hair. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the other, the one other thing that I won't miss is when the uh, farmers are out there plowing and stirring up the dirt. clouds, the dirt, of, the cloud, yeah. clouds of dirt. It kind of mess dirties your boat up. But these are small things, you know. And the current that oh, was the always current, bad. Yeah. I remember one weekend we had like five boats pinned up against the dock because. If you don't come in at slack or go out at slack when the water's not moving very fast, you are going to get pinned. And it happened. And sometimes you have to get a tow boat. It happened to, you know. It did. It, it That current and the tides determined what your day was going to look like. <laughs> but uh, we're especially going to miss our neighbors, uh, Mark and Melissa. They were neighbors on the dock. Directly, directly next, next to us. To us. Yeah. yeah, our next door neighbors. And they would take us out on their uh, their small little boat, um, little ski boat uh, for evening uh, cocktail trips. Yeah, we'd have our little evening cocktail cruise cocktail and cruise, yeah. uh, take the dogs out, the kids, and um, yeah. had a really good time with them. Spent a lot of time on the back of their boat, just uh, watching the watching the boats go by and yeah, talking, good. having some great conversations. And, yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> we will never forget the amazing things we saw and did on the Delta, but it's all the people that we will miss the most. Even though we were sailors in a marina full of power boaters, they treated us like family. We spent time attending local events and participating in fun activities. We hung out in some local hot spots, floating around the marina, or just anchoring out and making a splash. But it wasn't just the cool regulars we enjoyed. We met these guys, the Rasts, who gave Hal a birthday to remember when they took us for a ride on their 2001 Formula 353 Fast Tech. Ralph even let Hal have a turn at the wheel. We went 19 miles at speeds up to 80 miles per hour and burned about a gallon a minute of gas. But what a rush. We will cherish every memory. Yeah. I want to go back and visit. Yep. Yeah. We will. We'll come back. We'll say hi. Venture on through. A sailing riffraff. We'll come, we'll come through. <laughs> 
since we don't know how soon we'll have the opportunity to come back and visit our kids, we had one more get together, sharing some laughter <laughs> and deep conversation. This is about you guys. Yeah, what are your fears about us? Yeah. Okay, so what are your fears? General mishaps, nothing specific. Okay. I'm not going to wish anything. <laughs> If I this is no okay. So is wait a minute. Is this a wish list or a worry list? <laughs> I'm never watching it. It will happen. No. So I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it vague. Vague. So I haven't, okay. I okay. haven't seen Jaws too, so he might be still out there. You've got Jaws to worry about. You've got hurricanes, and I've seen plenty of movies. What's that one movie called? Which one? Adrift. Adrift. You yeah. already know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The many movies that you showed us with all those boats yeah. 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 Well, it was kind of our idea to terrify you completely so that you would, you know, just pay attention when we send you yeah. our flip plans. Oh, yeah. I just, I don't want to, like, not know where you're at for, like, five months at a time. No, like, that's not going to happen. I was supposed to hear from him, like, four months ago. Well, if that happens, <laughs> we will have some specific instructions on how to notify the Coast Guard, because if that happens, we have probably gone down. Probably gone, yeah. <laughs> That's the, the concern, is there's no, like, middle ground. Like, if something goes wrong, it's like, you guys probably died. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like that, That's actually a possibility, but... I don't want that to happen. No. Because who's going to do all the barbecuing? <laughs> yeah. We said our final goodbyes and pulled out of that slip one last time. We initially planned for Hal to single hand downriver, and I would meet him in Richmond with the car. But at the last minute, some very kind people offered to help us out with the car and convinced us it was much better if we were on the boat together. So off we went. forward as we cruised downriver to the bay. The cruise down the river was fairly uneventful, other than an occasional antic or two. <laughs> Poor guy, he didn't even know what was coming. I was so looking forward to blasting his music that I gave in and let him, and now I'm sincerely regretting that. It is so loud. Okay, truth be told, I've been known to jam to some music every once in a while myself. Just when everything was going smoothly, this happened. Yep, the Coast Guard pulled us over. But these young men and women were professional, courteous, and expeditious in their inspection. Thank you! We passed with flying colors and they were quickly on their way. But these calm conditions would soon turn rough. The wind started picking up and the water became choppy. As we hit San Pablo Bay, we had 40 knot gusts head on with huge waves coming at us. It was quite a bumpy ride, especially when I was in the forward cabin trying to work. Once we left San Pablo, the sea state calmed down, and soon after, we made it into the marina. After 11 hours of motoring, we were welcomed into Marina Bay Yacht Harbor by none other than our good friend Jeff Hare.
lines, we gave Tashi a good rinse and went to bed early. First leg of our journey is a wrap. back next time as we explore all that Point Richmond has to offer and rest up for the upcoming haul out. Remember to like and subscribe and also hit that bell and remember notifications. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future